Hi guys, it's Peg here. Um, I'm just doing a little experimental play. On this uh, piece of acrylic, I have some Mars black and some white, titanium white acrylic paint and some uh, coarse texture gel. And I want to mix those because I didn't want it just plain. I wanted to get some color into it. So that's why I'm trying to uh, get a nice gray consistency to this paste. So that's why I've got it out here and why I'm doing some mixing. And you know, you can do this with most of your paste. You can change the color and get it to go all the way through the medium that you're working with. You know, if you don't want it white, if you don't want it clear, add, add your own color and make it your own. Now this to me is a very nice gray and a nice undertone for anything I'm going to be working with. So I've just got, I've got a couple of different things out here. I've got, this is some gessoed canvas, and this is some just plain cardstock. So I'm going to apply some of this texture because I want to play around with these things, and I don't want to go to a large piece of art to do that. I want to have some play time. And I do this a lot. You know, I, I experiment with a lot of different things. And this has a nice sandy, gritty consistency. And you can, I think, probably smooth it out or leave it peaked or whatever you want for the piece that you're working on. I'm mostly smoothing it down. Um, I want a background. This is my background that I will be working on. So it's just about good enough. I want a little bit smoother over here. Fill out that corner a little bit. Okay, so that's one card, and I'm going to set this one aside to dry. And I'm going to use whatever's left here to go onto this canvas to see what effect it has on a canvas. So I don't have much out here, but I don't want to waste it either. So I'm just going to put down what I have here. And it may be no more than this little bit on the surface, but that's okay because you still got place over here to play with other products and mediums, right? Okay, so that's good for that one. Now, let me get a baby wipe and clean that off. And my trowel. And let's see what else we want to do. Okay, I wanted I also wanted to play with some colors. So I'm going to take some cardstock here and probably another piece of this canvas. And I have some basics. Uh, this is a CAD red deep hue, which is kind of a bluish red, which I like. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that down. Oh, that might be a little bit much. Get a brush. Um, and I need some water too, don't I? What do I have? Okay, I was really prepared. I think that's dry. <laughs> yes, this is my, and this is just distilled water.
that's from my brush toilet and I'm just wetting my brush and then I'm going to dry it off just to wet the the bristles right nice red really nice red like that color a lot Okay, maybe it wasn't too much. But basically what I wanted to do is just get something down here. So I'll be back. Okay, I've gotten a few things out. My paint is dry. And what I want to do is try some crackle effects. I have a couple of different types of glue out here. This is uh, the tacky glue from Aileen's, and this is Aim Elmer's Glue All. This is the kind of stuff you get for like 30 cents when they have the school sale, and I buy them, you know, maybe 10 at that time and put them aside. So I've got this uh, Elmer's, and I'm going to try it on both surfaces. And what I want to do is get a good coat on here and I'm just going to use a foam brush to apply. You, you notice that I don't use expensive things when I'm just testing these foam brushes. This is a, a brush from the dollar store um, but what I want is a fairly good coat of the glue on here and I want to see if there's differences in the glues that I'm using when I do a crackle. So, like I said, this is an experiment. And I'm just playing around to see what the effect is. And this is how I learn. I just play. It's all about the play. So, I highly recommend it. It's fun and you learn. So let's get this one spread out. And if you guys, you know, I have tackle mediums. I, I tackle, crackle. <laughs> I'm thinking about tackiness and crackle at the same time. So you get tackle. So we're going to make tackle here, guys. All right. So anyway, I'm getting a nice thick coat of the glue down here. And that was the Elmer's. And now on this other side, I should probably mark it so that I know, right? <laughs> that would be wise. That would be very wise of me. Hmm, when have I been that smart? Okay. So this side is the tacky. Tacky. This side is Elmer's and Elmer's. Yeah, I was think, think about these things after the fact. Okay, so that's good on there. Let's do the tacky. See if we get any kind of different effect. This one seems much thicker than the Elmer's. It probably doesn't have as much liquid in it and for some purposes you really want that so we'll see what what the effect is with something that's a little bit thicker if we get any effect at all we may not get anything like I said this is about the play this is about the learning okay so I'm gonna get a different applicator I'm gonna just spread the tacky glue nice coat of tacky glue down here. And we'll make trackle or whatever it is. <laughs> trackle. Tackle. Something. All right. So there we have a nice coat 
of each of the glues. And I'm going to dump that in my bucket because I can rinse those out and reuse them. And now you just want this to be at a tacky state. And what I'm going to use on this, I've got this cheap apple barrel matte. This is a matte acrylic paint. So it's kind of like a chalkboard paint, but you get this for a couple bucks, like at Walmart or someplace like that. And it's it's a pretty big size paint container. This is eight fluid ounces from Plaid. So, um, and let's see what the consistency of this is. It might be a little too fluid. Oops, just stuck my finger in something over here. Um, might need to go to something. I, what I want is kind of a thick coat. So let me test this on another piece of paper. Yeah, I don't know if the body of that. See, that's pretty, that's pretty fluid. Although I think I could probably get a thick enough. Let's go with it. You know, I can always do another one with a different paint, right? Let's just go with it. Okay, so what I want, let me grab another. What I want here is on these, on the top of these glues, is I want to apply a coat of paint, and I want it to be, I want it to be thick enough so that it'll crackle. And you know, they they talk about painting in one direction with this on top of here. I'm not going to do that because, you know, me, I like to see what the effects of things are. So I'm going to, you know, not only paint in one direction, but I'm going to, you know, add some texture down here to see what that does. And that was the Elmer's. And we'll go over here to the Elmer's on this side. Might need a little more let me add just a little more paint up in that area. I want a pretty good coat. And you don't want to mix it. You don't want to mix. You want the layers to remain separate. So don't stroke over and over. Just, you know, get your paint down. And we'll get the tacky glue side. And on paper. I have a project in mind for this and that's why I'm testing this out because I want to see what it does before I actually go to the project itself. Okay, so hmm, I have paint left. Can't let that go to waste. This will become the background for something else. Okay, so now I want to heat tool it and I'm going to let the film run a little bit so that we can see the effect. Um, see if I can do this without dragging my cord through. Okay. You can see some of the crackle going on already. You see that over there on the tacky glue side?
Okay, so here we have, this is the canvas, and this is the Elmer side, and you can see, on the Elmer side, you can see the crackle, and you can see the red paint coming through. And this was a gessoed surface. Over on this side, I don't see so much of the red, and that might be because of the glue. The glue is still wet underneath here. Um, it tends to glob up, and that seems to be a difference from the other side. So, um, you know, there's, it's still wet here in the middle in some places, so I'm going to set it aside because it takes quite a while for that to dry all the way down. But you can see that we're getting some of the crackle effect that I wanted. This, I don't know if that glue is going to dry out clear and it, we're going to see red under there, but I'll show you the difference when we come back. Now this was just on the plain cardstock. And here again, I'm not seeing as much of that red as I thought I would, um, and that may be just because the glue hasn't dried down all the way, but I'm getting good crackle effect on both of these. Um, I like where it's not going straight up and down. This is more like if you want a wood grain where you paint it on straight and you see those uh, cool striations in there. And then this is more like a knot in the wood. It's It's got some turns and twists in it. And I like both, but you know, depending on what look you're going for, that's what you can achieve. So I'm going to let this, I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to let it dry and then I'll come back and give you some better shots. Okay, so my pieces are dry now. You can remember from before the Elmer's is on this side of each of these and the tacky glue is on the other. And you can see that this is the uh, canvas with the gesso on it, that both of these did the crackle effect very well. And what I've done up here is I just, I was playing with some archival in potting soil. So I wanted to see what happened if I distressed it even a little bit more just to see what the surface would end up looking like. And you do get that kind of grungy look. I think I might even go add a little bit of something smoky like here's a... Mm, what do I have? Here's a memento in a London fog. It's a nice grayed out tone. Yeah, I like that. But it's shiny because of the paint, so I think what I want to do is put a matte coat over the top and see if I can knock that shine back, because I don't really want that reflection. I want more of a dull finish on there. So that'll be my next step, but my experiment worked, yay, and um, I can say I now have cheap methods of doing crackle. So, or crackle or tackle or whatever you want to call it. So I'll see you guys later. Bye for now.